outcomes of this one. No, I think it's going to be tight because with only four points, and look at Kazahara continuing the upper hand that he had in their singles match, just bringing such a wide angle. I think Texas really have to make a strong impact with these first, first two matchups. Sahara keeps the pressure on. Tao maybe backed off a little bit too much from the table there. He plays big shots, but it's so hard to get the trajectories right. And he's dipping his racket down in order to pick the ball up. Kazahara has so much spin when he's driving the ball. Kazahara, that steady backhand opening. We're back to game one again. And it's good night Vienna to Bay Area Blasters. One point lead, the Texas smash. And Kazahara with a sweep. This is gonna be very interesting here. And Daryl Sow establishes forehand. He establishes that pretty quickly. Texas smash on a bit of a roll. Again, these first few matchups for them, really important. Adi got a break there. That server turn went long. Daryl was looking his chops ready to spin that on. It's Bay Area crowd getting rowdy in the Golden Game. Long That's serve. The serve drifts long. Daryl picks it up with ease. And Godwine keeps the reverse shot to the forehand this time. A great follow up from him. Bay Area Blasters move back to within two, and this is going to be really interesting <laughs> to see how Lily handles this reverse pendulum serve in particular. Going for it. Strong Going for the flip kill, which if it lands, it's wonderful. But high risk. Goes for the backhand flip, but Macbeth, again, just it's a little bit far back. Yeah, it's going to be tough because the amount of spin that Macbeth plays is much heavier than she saw with Rebite. Oh, and he gets that one out of the pocket. And just heavy spun it up. Lily went airborne on that last one. Macbeth continues to play his best table tennis tonight. Well, that's going to be tough. That block that he did off the first attack that Lily gave him. Head into the next matchup. Sonora Silva. This is going to be a battle right here. Silva will not go quietly. Bay Area Blasters need a momentum shift here. Oh, that was a, gets him with the forehand. That was a terrible serve <laughs> return there. Just pushed it deep to the center and high. May have had good success in the singles, but the golden game is a different animal, and here comes the timeout. Yeah, Sil Silva a little surprised, but after that last serve return, Coach Maggie Tien wants to have better shot selection. Right now, the pressure is on the home team. And I, I think, Matt, one of the things is, after Mac Macbeth's win, the amount of energy for the Texas Hi. Smash right now, they're standing up. You just see so much more activity. Everyone eager, of course, the good start by Kazahara against Tawan Zhang. So interested to see the last matchup too between Amy and Margin Bao. Oh, that's going to be intense. Well, that serve got away from Rohan. Both Margin Bao and Amy in the next match will be looking for redemption right now. Rebate holding the table. And just kept Silva 
not necessarily on his heels, but back in a defensive stance. Really big point here. If Texas can continue to build. Oh, the explosiveness in those shots. Silva pulls it back, but Texas uh, five points ahead right now. So snappy on those forehand loops. This is going to be interesting here. Will Amy go for the deep serve? Najin Bao and Amy both have a point to prove here. Digging, digging, digging. And this is the specialty of the Golden Game. When you can sweep, change the dimension. Amy had a chance Almost. on that one. Jim Bao has a chance to potentially bring things back even closer. And he does. Sweep. He wins four points. Texas Smash will send out Kasahara, and it, really, Tao has to approach this differently. I mean, he needs to make his mark a little bit more. Either shut down Kasahara's serve and launch one of his missiles, or get his backhand into play. These points are huge, and the crowd is getting louder. This is where it gets so exciting. A one-point differential. We're kind of back to the starting point again. This time with Texas with the one-point lead. And Talon John puts it in the net. He's going to be deeply frustrated with that. And Kazahara knows now if he ever gets out of position, there's one other option, nice which is to go lob. back and lob, especially if you can make it go deep. Tao too far from the table. But he now has the serve. And a forced step around. Couldn't get a full swing on that ball. And Kazahara continues to keep the sweep going. It's Tao and John. Big forehand from Tao Wen Zhang, keeping the margins tight here. Daryl Zhao and Aditya Godwani face off again towards the midway mark of this golden game. Darrell finds his forehand, just able to work the point. Be interesting if Adi could just maybe push it deep and mix up the short game. Capitalizing it right now, you have to wonder, given the momentum that we saw in the first round of uh, combinations, there might be a chance for the Bay Area to come back, but can they get ahead when it comes? A big point right there. If Garmani can go a 2-2 in this set of four. And he does. Solid again. play. That short reverse to the forehand. Right now, pressure on Lily to keep the momentum going. The Lily mob are going nuts. Scoreboard's a little bit behind there. It's 15, 13 for Texas. And Lily, she's going to bring it to within one. Macbeth has got to be feeling an immense amount of pressure from that corner. Macbeth, well placed balls right down the middle. Lily wanted to smack it. But just so much pace on the ball. 
depth, but a little bit too high. It's so spinny when Macbeth can open up on the backhand side. Very difficult not only for Lily to put her racket on the ball, but to bring it down. So 18, 14, Silva. Silva needs to keep the I mean, Texas smash. There's a big opportunity here. Silva can really make an impact. Did much and Val can come back onto the court again. If, if he can get within three points, and again, just a very weak first serve return. That is a nice for the big backhand counter. Now so with the needs. serve, if he can take at least one, otherwise it's over. I mean, he really needs both. And what gets, a aggressive serve if he gets by both. Sonora Silva. Amy Wong's looking a little nervous back there already. And he will. 17-19. And right now, there is an opportunity for Majin Bao to close this out. And Amy is in this tough position that she's been in before. She was in yesterday. And she has been in previous matches where she's having to try and hold down the fort. The thing that I like team. right now is Amy smiling a little bit. I mean, you have to, right? right? <laughs> and Amy Wong just blocks Majin Bao down and then to go this from being huge. swept in the first four to taking the first point and getting match point for Texas's first potential win in the Western Conference. And the serve just drifts long and Amy's had just the nerves. Time out yesterday in the first, first point of the uh, Golden Game. Amy. And Betsy Gaio does call a timeout. Trying to ice the server. Amy Wong just has to take one. Do you think she'll go for a finishing shot off the serve directly or try to work the point? Because we've seen Jim Bao's loop has so much spin. I think, I think Jim Bao's reverse serve is a little bit tough for her to do it against, but I mean, at this stage of the Golden Game, it's really difficult to know what might happen. And, in, and with the number of missed serves, he's got to get it into play and not worry about the next shot. And we've just seen he was like he was very relaxed and free though on the first round, but this is totally different. The situation. Yeah, no, the, the score creates the pressure, and being down two match points right now on his serve. Best he can do is send it into a golden point. And he'll get the first, the reverse pendulum. Amy keeps it short, pops it up. You have to wonder, does she just try and go long and deep there and just really commit to the push? And he's watching her racket angle to see where that ball's going. And Amy Wong finishes it for Texas. The ultimate redemption from yesterday. What a point with Amy Wong.